back to Blackbird Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a water bottle in Blender 2.8. So, let's delete these um, the, the camera and the light. So those might get in our way. Let's also delete the cube. Let's add a cylinder. Let's scale it up a bit. Bit more. Then let's scale it all up and down on the Z axis. Looks pretty good. Then let's go to face select, select this top face, and invert it. Press I, and what this will do is it'll make smaller um, face inside so let's move it up a little bit and extrude it fill it a little and extrude it one more time pretty far up actually extrude it one more time and yeah, scale like that. That's the water bottle base. Let's add the, the top. Move it up. Scale it. Scale it on the Z axes. It's like that. I'm going to front view. That looks pretty good. Then let's select the top, invert it, like so, just root it down, and scale it, that looks pretty good, let's just move it up a little, that looks great, then let's add another cylinder, this whole thing is pretty much cylinders, Rotate it on the y axis 90 degrees. Let's move it up and move it on the x axis. It's going to front view to see this a little better. And let's just move the cap a little bit down. Um, so let's scale it like that. Select the face and extrude it and press right click to cancel and then scale it, extrude it again like that. Now let's, um, let's go to well, yeah, let's let's duplicate this. Shift D, duplicate, and then rotate it around the middle, which is the 3D cursor. Rotate it 180 degrees, and let's just scale them a little bit. But let's scale them on individual origins. So one more individual point, or yeah, I guess. Um. Then let's again add a cylinder. Rotate it on the y axis ninety degrees. And then rotate it on the z-axis 90 degrees. Move it up. Go into front view and scale it. Scale it down a little. Just like that. Scale it on the y-axis. So it's pretty thin. Or actually, yeah, let's 
Let's go on the y axis a little bit more. Like that. Okay. Move it up. Then let's go into front view, into wireframe mode, and hit tab. Go into edit mode. Let's just select everything below uh, these little things. I don't know what those are called. Delete the faces. And let's also delete those faces. So delete faces. Then let's select everything. A and E to extrude. And then let's scale it. And let's scale it on the shift or the shift Y axes. So it scales on the X and Z axes, but not but not on the Y axes. Let's move it down. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Actually, let's just make it a little bit thicker. We're scaling it some more. We don't want it to overlap with the cap. So it's actually just. Oh, well, actually, that won't work. Never mind. That looks pretty good. Good enough. Um, then let's let's um, select the cap and add a subdivision surface. Not sure if this will actually no. Let's select the the base. Add a subdivision surface. Now it'll give us some pretty bad looking results. So let's select the, the bottom here and invert it. Let's press I. And do that one more time. Like that. Can also move it up and invert it again. Or no, that's not. It's not gonna work. Um, what did I just do? Oops. Okay. Looks pretty good. Let me make the viewport like three. Let's right click and shade smooth and do that for all of these. Shade smooth for that doesn't look good. Never mind. Let's select everything and I wonder if we can invert everything. Maybe not. Just invert the top. Twice or something. Do that for the bottom too. And let's add a subdivision surface. That'll look better. Not sure how it'll look for this. Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. It's really good. Okay. Increase that to three. And do that for these two. You know what? These, these don't need it. Great. Uh, let's select everything and shade smooth. That looks a really nice water bottle. Or actually, yeah. Um, let's add some materials to it. So let's go to the materials, um, shading. Materials property, uh, new material. Let's 
um, double click on it to rename it, let's name it base. Now let's select Um, well, let's delete that. Or actually, let's just rename it. I don't know what you'd call this. Top. Just name it top. Change the color to dark black. Dark black. Okay, um. That for this too. Um, for the base of the water bottle, make it a grayish color. For these, let's just join them so they're one object. And let's make them silver. Right now, if we go to the renders, the render shading, we can, one sec, we can shift A and add a light, do sun, can move that and I'll make it a little bit brighter. And rotate it. Actually, that looks pretty good. And we can can change the render engine from easy to cycles. This will give us a way better rendering. And now we have a cool water bottle and blender. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.